Welcome. In this video, I want to teach you how to trade a short strangle. So first, the criteria. The market assumption is neutral. So we want price to stay in a specific range between now and expiration. We want the implied volatility to be high. So we sell the options for a higher price. The optimal time frame is going to be between 30 and 60 days to expiration when we enter the trade. And we're looking for a profit target of between 30 and 50% of max profit. Both the downside and the upside risk on a short strangle are undefined because we're selling naked options, but that also gives us a higher probability of success. In this case, it starts at over 70%. Now, when with the way that we manage these trades, we're actually gonna have a success over 85, sometimes over 90% of the time, but the initial probability of profit uh, when you set it up this way will be over 70%. So here's the trade setup. First, we're gonna sell a out of the money call, and we're gonna do it in that 15 to 30 delta range, and then we're gonna sell an out of the money put in that 15 to 30 delta range. And as a note, time decay or theta positively impacts this position. So each day that you're in the trade, you're gonna be collecting that daily paycheck, collecting that theta. Let's go to the platform and take a look at an example. So we're looking at a chart of the QQQs, uh, which is the NASDAQ ETF. And you can see that the implied volatility percentile is at 51, Ivy ranks at 33. But as long as one of these is over 50, that gives us the opportunity to what we call sell higher implied volatility. So this would be a good candidate to sell a short strangle on. So if we go to the trade tab and we look at the different option chains, as you can see, we want to stay out of the weeklies and only trade the, the monthly cycles. You can see we've got a We've got one with 28 days, so that's too short. Remember, we want to be between 30 and 60. And then we've got one at 56, so this is the option chain that we would choose. So simply expand the September, in this case, option chain with 56 days to expiration. And we'll take a look at the different deltas. So if we start on the call side and look at the delta over here, remember, we want somewhere between 15 and 30 delta. So you could choose any one of these three strikes. Just remember, the further away you are, the higher probability of success, but the less profit potential. The closer to the money, which is indicated by right here where these shaded, shaded boxes meet, uh, those, you know, so the, sh the closer you are to the money, the more credit you're gonna collect, the higher profit potential you have, but the lower probability of success. The further away from the money you get, or the lower the delta, the higher probability of success, but the lower max profit potential, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to choose the 18 delta, so that would be the 150 strike. So you can simply right click, sell, strangle, and that populates. Now it defaults to the next strike, which is not the one we want. So it defaults to the 149. So we need to go over to the put side and look for a similar strike. So I wanna be, I did 18, the 18 delta on the call side, which is right here. So I wanna do about the 18 delta on the put side. Now there's not an 18, there's a 17 or a 20. So I'll opt for the one a little bit higher, which would be the 20 delta, which represents the 136 strike. So we gotta go down here to the put, and change that to 136, and then we can right click and analyze the trade. So that populates our uh, visual profile of the short strangle. And what we wanna do next is we wanna set our slices to break even. And so then we would just choose the expiration date, in this case, 916. So that matches up with our expiration date here. And we also wanna change the, the, the date in this calendar up here to match the expiration date, in this case, 916, okay? So what that does is it takes these price slices and puts them to the break even point on both sides. As you can see, this has over a 71% probability of profit when we enter the trade. 
The way that we manage them, as I mentioned before, we actually win on these trades closer to 85, 90, sometimes over 90% of the time. And what you'll see with just one contract, you've got a max profit of $172. Now the risk to each side is undefined, so you want to have a criteria in mind for when to exit the trade if it has a massive move in one direction or another. Typically two times your initial credit received works well as a theoretical stop loss. Now we do not use hard stop losses when trading this type of strategy because it does not, uh, it, it does not create the highest profit potential over time, but you can have kind of an area where you want to get out if it does have a massive move. And that's typically two times the credit. So if the credit right now is $172 or $1.72, you can double that and, and once you reach that point to either side, then you can simply exit the trade. Uh, so that's the, that's the setup uh, and that's what it looks like on the visual representation. And we're gonna, remember we're gonna manage these at between 25 to 50% of max profit. So if you uh, are looking at 172 as your max profit, you'd look to get out of this for you know, somewhere around uh, 80, 80, 90 dollars, it would be kind of the, the, the profit. So you might think 80 or 90 dollars, that's not very much. Well, this is only one contract. So the bigger your account, the more contracts you can do and the better at trading these strategies, you can kick that up. So if you do 10 contracts, now we're looking at 1,720 dollars is the max profit. So I hope that was helpful. If you'd like to learn more about the different strategies that we use to make consistent returns, come see us at navigationtrading.com. We've got a ton of free resources, including the Navigation Watch List, which is a list of the most profitable symbols to trade for each type of strategy. We've got the Volatility Indicator, which you've seen on my charts. You can download this directly to your Thinkorswim trading platform. And we've got a free options course called Trading Options for Income, which is a step-by-step -step guide to get you making consistent trades right away. We look forward to seeing you there.